Hi everyone, this is Simon Nobbs of Snobs Interiors, specialist interior decorators and also of South Coast Studio. I tend to concentrate on uh, specialist paint effects, uh, wood graining, marbling, that kind of thing and also painted furniture and you may have also uh, seen some of the other things that I've put out on social media highlighting some of the work that I do. Now this is something a little bit different. I haven't done a specific uh, review of a product uh, before. Uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs, thumbs up. Um, please subscribe as well. Uh, there will be more, more videos to come. I will be comparing this brush with a brush from uh, Purdy which are my preferred at the moment my preferred uh, paintbrush supplier uh, I've been using them for, for many years as you can see this brush is quite old it's over, well over a year old has been used week in week out um, they come with a reusable um, sleeve um, which which is very handy it's got a sort of a it's cardboard but it's got a, a coating on the inside a waterproof coating a, a velcro a little bit of a, a velcro catch um, and the brushes the um, the hairs etc on the brushes are um, uh, are very very good very good quality there's no no uh, hair loss and they clean very easily um, they keep their shape nicely especially in the sleeve reusable sleeve um, and uh, I've been using them for, for many many years so I'm going to be doing a direct comparison this is a purdy two inch standard um, uh, elite not monica uh, monica elite uh, paintbrush but a full disclaimer this this item from a company called eco union has been sent to me um, I haven't paid for it with my own money um, but I will give you an honest review of the product. I'll take you through um, exactly what what Eco Union, the company, is all about. I don't know if any of you have heard anything about them in the past. You, you may have done. It's a it's a slightly different product than 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 perhaps many of you would have would have seen before. Um, in that it's um, it claims to be from uh, sustainable, renewable, sustainable sources um, or recycled materials. Um, they have a range of products, um, ro rollers, roller trays, roller sleeves, uh, paint brushes obviously, kettles, that kind of thing. All um, apparently are from recycled, fully recyclable uh, and re re reusable, biodegradable materials. So. I'll take you through the product a um, bit, you know, one stage at a time, and, um, and and give you my honest opinion. So, to start with, I'll unpack the wrapper. Now, as far as I can make out, It says here, um, rinse straight away with warm water, store brush in original packaging to retain shape. So there we go. So this is a reusable, a reusable sleeve. It's obviously, again, it's been coated with something on the inside by the look of it. Um, I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, I'm assuming it's a um, sustainable, sustainable coating. Um, obviously, the, you know the cardboard is compostable and re, re, you know, re, re, reusable. So, so that's good. So, first impressions are it's very nice, very nice feel in the hand. Um, got a bamboo handle, uh, sustainable sources. So, um, so that's good. Uh, the metal ferrule uh, is apparently um, uh, recycled. So that's all. That's all a good start. It's a nice weight in the hand, but very, very, very similar to the Purdy brushes. Very similar 
shape and look so so that's that's very good that's a very good start um, let's see how this works so yeah I'm assuming that that tucks in there and then you've got a adhesive strip down there which I guess folds back and holds it in place so that seems to work I don't know how long that will last I don't know how how long these sleeves will last this sleeve the, these sleeves they don't they don't last forever I mean this has been used for for weeks you know for week in week out for, for well over a year and as you can see it's very tatty now but it still does a job you know it works perfectly well keep keep keeps the bristles in shape and I'm sure this one will it feels very similar so I'm sure this one will will do the same so yeah so it's all a it's all a good start so far so let's have a look at the brush um, as I say very very nice very nice feed in the hand now the company themselves they you know they have a lot of information on their website about themselves uh, about how they started what what the ethos is about the company they're, they're looking to um, to change the way we look at at certain products make you know moving away from plastics um, moving to a more um, recyclable um, and re reusable uh, uh, outlook on on, on painting and decorating, decorating, which is all, which is all very good, um, and I'm f fully behind that. They conform uh, to, you know, to the very high standards uh, for recycling and sustainable materials, and they want to, as I say, they want to um, provide alternative solutions um, to 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 the likes of myself and to many other decorators you know around around the country now as I say I didn't purchase this so I don't know precisely what the cost of this will be I know that you can't purchase these materials directly from the website from from eco union website at the moment anyway I have seen them online um, uh, they, they do vary you know for, for a brush like this for example it does vary in price online I've seen it for around about five pounds, going up to um, about around eleven pounds for the exactly the same brush. So there's a variety, you know, wide wide sort of uh, range of prices there. Um, the uh, the Purdy brushes are more expensive. Uh, you're looking at probably something around about the sort of fifteen pounds. Uh, between between well it's the same 15 between 13 and 20 pounds uh, for for a two inch um, per, purdy brush depending on where you shop you can get um, you can get packs they do come in packs um, and you can get a, you know you can get them for a, a better price than that um, discounted price if you buy in bulk obviously um, but they are more the purdies are more expensive uh, like like for like um, obviously, I haven't tested this one yet, but like for like, they are more expensive than the Eco Union. So that's that's one up for the Eco Union. Price is obviously important, you know, in any business. And if the product is is uh, com comparable to your to your favourite or your you know the product that you're most likely to use, um, if this is comparable then um, then you know that's that's a very good thing if it comes in slightly cheaper they also talk about about who who, who they've supplied to and ha how long they've been in um, where was it? they've been they've been supplying the likes of uh, Travis Perkins for for over 10 years and the royal household for seven years and they've got stockist across Europe so so the company's been around for a while I have I have seen their products before but as I say I've never actually used them but I've I I've a bit of a creature of habit and I've always tended to stick with 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 Purdy but I'm willing to give them a, you know willing to give them a good go so so here we are now you know again they 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 claim that there's um, you know each brush is individually checked uh, and uh, they're made um, in a way that um, 
the bristles the, the bristles are guaranteed not to fall out tipped and flagged and they're, they're supposed to offer you know very very um, good quality you know with, with regarding to brush strokes and and laying out the amount of paint that that the the bristles can hold again that's important um, you want to be you want to have a brush a paintbrush that holds um, if you're a professional decorator especially that uh, that will hold a good amount of paint and will be you know that you can you can you can be assured that you're not going to end up with a lot of paint brush marks um, and you get a nice even coating so I need to check that out so spoken about the, the company's environmental credentials and their ethos I've given you a little bit of details about the the product themselves and I've done a comparison with my favorite brushes at the moment the Purdy brushes and so far I am very impressed so the next thing um, is really to do a test so this this is one of my sample boards I'm going to be producing um, a new range of sample boards for the um, the next run of courses that I'm going to be providing here in my studio in the southeast I'm going to be be filming those and putting those up on YouTube uh, just for, for everyone to see they're not going to be um, they're not going to be a course and I'm not going to be describing what I'm doing necessarily it's just about showing people what they can expect when when they come onto one of my courses so I want to um, I'm going to prepare put a couple of coats of eggshell paint uh, acrylic, uh, acrylic eggshell paint onto this board um, using this brush um, and I want to see how it performs how, how the, it lays out the paint how much paint it holds um, whether or not any bristles do in fact come out so far so good but you never know and then I want to uh, clean the brush up uh, the purdy brushes again they clean up very nicely very easy to clean and you don't get a lot of you know you don't get sort of paint sort of that gets into the stock um, and is difficult to clean out and and you end if, if that happens you end up that with with the brushes lose their flexibility and then you haven't got quite such a good finish on your paint painting uh, so I want to see how this com the cleaning up of the brush compares with uh, with the purdy brushes and then once I've done that then I want to use the brush for uh, week, week in week out replace replace this with with um, with a normal uh, purdy two inch brush and uh, for about a three month period then I'm going to come back back to the to the studio and I'm going to record a short video uh, for YouTube just um, explaining how the brush has performed over the over the three months and, um, and my my full impressions of um, you know of using this brush and whether or not I would recommend it over the over the purdy brushes or alongside and um, you know give give my honest opinion on that and and um, it'd be, be very interesting to see how that how that pans out so um so i'm going to get on with that now okay we have um acrylic eggshell paint um some water ugly water now i'm giving the paint a good stir now i want to make sure that this this is you know i do everything as i would normally do with with my you know with my other paint brushes so um, before I start paint before I start using the paint the, br the bristles are tend to be a little bit dry um, and if you if you use them straight away straight onto the dry dry bristles it can it can tend to sort of set you know it, it sort of stains the brushes and and sets on a little bit unevenly so I I normally just moisten the brush slightly I just dip it in some water and then shake it out so I always do that with all my brushes especially new ones um, uh, there may be there may be some coating on there some dust or something you, you, you don't know you never know what's on there so so I always do that give it a good shake out okay 
So we don't want a, a wet paintbrush, but it's you know it's like just slightly moistened. Make sure there's nothing on there. A nice clean brush. Okay, so I'll a little bit of this paint onto into the uh, paint kettle. Now. Uh, this board has already been primed, had a couple of coats of, of wood primer on it. If, if it hadn't been, then uh, obviously you, you would prime, this is an MDF board, you would prime it first. Um, I tend to use something like the, the Zinza BIN uh, shellac primer for that. This, is, this has had a couple of coats of that on it, so it's, it's nicely sealed. So I can go straight on with the, with the coloured um, eggshell paint, which will be the base for uh, a, a pale a pale to mid oak and um, and a walnut just just to give you an idea or just to give um, uh, anyone who wants to come to my course the idea of what 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 we do here so we'll put a little bit of paint into the kettle don't need a lot impressions are very good seems to hold a lot of paint a little bit of a paint bristle there it can come out that's that's normal that's to be expected you you do get your bristle that will go the wrong way so it's quite it's quite warm in here today in the studio so the paint is drying pretty quick as I'm applying it but I've had no problems the brush is very nice to use very comparable to uh, to the purdies that I use so far uh, I had a, two two bristles uh, came out when I initially started using it which is which is you know which is fair that's um you know you will you will get the odd um, the old, uh, on a new brush you will get the old bristle a couple of loose bristles perhaps even with the purdies so um, that's nothing to worry about so I'm going to uh, uh, leave this to dry and then I'm going to apply a second coat and then um, I'm going to then I'll be able to see then exactly how it's performed Okay, as you can see, I have given this board, the sample board, a couple of coats of um, a water-based uh, acrylic eggshell. Now, I have to say, on initial trial with this, with this paintbrush from Eco Union, uh, it has performed very well. It's not an, uh, it's not an easy. Uh, situation uh, to cope with for a, for especially for a new brush that hasn't been broken in I would expect to probably take um, probably be using it for regularly for um, a good week or maybe two before uh, a brush like this will be broken in and and I will be, be be fully satisfied with with the performance but it has performed very well here uh, it's a very warm in the studio today. The, I, I didn't thin down the, the um, acrylic eggshell at all. I took it straight, straight from, the, um, from the tin. So it's, it's a very good test for it, especially for me. Um, and, and I found that um, the paint's gone on very well. There, there are very, very, very few brush marks um, that, you know, that I would worry about. And um, and it's 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 held the paint very nicely. You know the brush is held up very well. It's very comfortable to use. It's got a nice you know a nice grip to it. So uh, so first impressions very good. Very happy with it. Um, I think I will probably continue 
uh, to use it for a while now. I'll certainly give it a good test over the next three months and um, and we'll see how it performs and I'll come back I'll do a another little review on it and just to give you my impressions but so far um, a thumbs up from me okay now I did tell you that I would um, wash the brush out and tell you how how that went how easy it was to clean you know how it how it looks once it's been cleaned the state of the brush etc now a couple of points I just washed the brush out in cold water in a bucket I didn't do anything special I mean if you're working on a site uh, for example you may not have access to warm water or you may not have access to running water so uh, I wanted to keep it as sort of realistic as possible um, I just filled up a bucket with cold water um, and rinsed it out several times in clean cold water um, and uh, it's 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 come up you know it's come up nice and clean there's no problem all the, all the paints come out which is great uh, it is I don't know if you can see that it is a little bit shaggy you know the some of the brush the bristles have sort of splayed out um, somewhat now that's you know that that does happen it's not I'm not too concerned about that obviously I'd have to have to keep an eye on things as as we go uh, you know the state of the brush has as it's used more often but um, the other thing I noticed was that some water did get into the ferrule and um, and then you know and it, in fact it's still it's still in there now and 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 dripping through a little bit so with, with the purdy brushes you don't get that or I don't find that 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 happens so that's that's something I, I don't like about paint brushes I don't like uh, water storing in in the ferrule um, and then and then leaking and then sort of leaking out in time so uh, I mean if this brush often these brushes are sort of dropped into you know into a bucket of water and left for you know may, maybe you know 10 minutes 15 minutes a half an hour to soak um, before they're cleaned and, and if the water does collect and store in there then that that's 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 not a good thing so I will have to monitor that and see how that goes but the brush has cleaned out. The bristles are nice and soft. I think I think these these unruly hairs will will go back. Obviously, there are ways of treating brushes to to make sure that the hairs stay in place, especially specialist brushes. So some of the flogging and dragging and softening brushes that I use for paint effects. But I don't want to do anything to this. I want to keep it as it is. Just wash it in cold water after use, and um, and then I'm going to pop pop it back in its protective sleeve and see see how it protects it. See see what see if it um, ma maintains the shape. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs thumbs up. Um, please subscribe as well. Uh, there will be more more videos to come. Um, and if you like like the reviews if you'd like me to do more reviews then please let me know um, I'm happy to do some more reviews more trials on products so please let me know if you want me to do that so uh, thank you very much and I'll see you all again soon